And modern electric cars are huge pieces of junk. So caveat enter my my buddy Wayne Killen may be watching this. I know Wayne works for the Department of Energy and is really big into electric cars. You know, he and I, when he came down here and picked up his 190E16 valve, he and I had this conversation about electric cars, which is a good conversation where, you know, unfortunately, a lot of modern cars are not well made. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't get an electric car. It also doesn't mean that electric cars are all bad. It just means that if you're expecting to get like a forever car, or a car that has like a 10 year life in it or whatever, electric car is probably not going to work. If you're going to lease a car and you're going to be driving it around New York City, you know, sure, why not? And I think that the place that EVs really work best is in New York City or Los Angeles or Chicago or, you know, somewhere with a lot of crowds where you don't have to drive very far. Thus being said, I see all these efforts by electric car manufacturers, instead of making highly efficient, affordable electric city cars, they concentrate on making electric cars that are just not like the opposite of what they should be making. For example, Ford, I don't understand why you're putting all these resources into making an electric F-150. Sure, an electric F-150 is a great idea if you want the size of a pickup truck, the economy of a pickup truck, but the lack of usefulness of an electric golf cart. I don't, I don't understand. Like if I were Ford and I think we've under, we understand now that other than like the Mustang and the F-150 Ford doesn't know how, and maybe they're, you know, maybe they're bigger SUVs like the Expedition. Um, Ford doesn't actually know how to build desirable passenger cars and you can lump Chevrolet and actually, I think you can lump, um, uh, I think you can definitely lump Fiat Chrysler into that category. Like, sort of building a Lego car that can't carry anything and will never run on its own. These manufacturers still seem to hold on to this idea that maybe one day they will make cars that are relevant and useful. Now, Fiat Chrysler, I guess you can give them props for building the Charger. The Charger is, or whatever, that whole family of rear wheel drive, giant Dodge and Chrysler cars are, are actually desirable cars, but I'm talking about smaller subcompact cars. So what does Ford do? Well, we're gonna make the F-150 into an electric vehicle and maybe people will buy it. I think that's, that's what they're running with. Newsflash, the reason people like the F-150 is because it's got a lot of power and it's a truck. Like it does things that a truck can do. It's fast, it's huge, you feel like you're king of the road, you know? Um, I don't know that if I would want to buy a vehicle that in reality, not even towing anything is a range of 150 miles. But I mean, I guess if you're living in New York city and you need a pickup truck, the F-150 EV is a great fit for you, you know, or if you live in Texas, um, and you need to have a truck, but you commute a hundred miles a day. And so you also have a Toyota Corolla having an electric pickup truck is like a great status symbol. It's like, oh yeah, I'm super green and stuff, you know? And then meanwhile, uh, the house that you built in has the carbon, has a carbon footprint, the size of a small oil refinery, which is typically the market for the, you know, typical market for the EV buyer. Just, just letting you guys know, you know, I'm going to go from my carbon footprint McMansion to my electric pickup truck. So I just don't understand this. And this is why I think modern electric cars are so bad. You know, I think that the only successful modern, modern electric or partial electric slash gasoline hybrids were the Chevy Volt and whatever Chevy decided to come out to replace it. Um, cars like the Nissan Leaf, you know, the, the electric car is not supposed to be a fun car. It's supposed to be a soulless representation of the fact that we've screwed over our planet by making giant SUVs that got 12 miles per gallon for decades 
now, you know, three decades. And now we have to punish ourselves and tighten our belts a little bit by making electric vehicles. But unfortunately, because we live in such an instant gratification culture, nobody can, nobody can seem to understand the fact that if you want to have a decent usable electric car, it can't weigh 6,000 pounds and be in the shape of an F-150. Or for that matter, in the shape of a Rivian or a Tesla truck or a Hummer. I mean, you know, we haven't touched on the monstrosity known as the electric Humvee yet. But I, I just don't understand what the point is. You have this giant, unaerodynamic, weird looking thing that that I don't know I mean I guess I could see the point of an electric Hummer if you are addicted to Starbucks and having a giant SUV and you basically drive around in the same 20 miles 20 square mile area taking your kids to and from cheerleading practice and you know going to your pseudo job and going to Starbucks and sitting in the drive through sure go buy an electric Hummer but there, there needs to be like a point in our society where we have this conversation where we say, do we need to keep making more throwaway cars? I still think society was better off when we made cars that were designed to last a lifetime. Now, did we ever get this right? I don't think so. I think Mercedes got it right with the 123 series because you see a lot of one owner high mileage 123 series cars. And sure, the 123 series polluted, you know, just like everything. But I'm pretty sure that driving a 123 series is greener than mining a bunch of lithium in the Arctic, shipping it across the country, um, trying to dispose of a bunch of battery packs, shipping an electric car places. Don't forget all the tow truck rides for your electric car when it runs at a battery, you know? Um... I don't know. I just think that the electric car industry, if they're trying to be a thing, they're going the wrong direction. I'm going to say this again, just so all of you hear me. Electric cars should be soulless, boring, uh, NPC commuter vehicles that you use to get around large cities. They are not for people who um, actually have to drive anywhere. You know, they're, they just don't do that very well. But again, they're great for large cities. Perfect. Fine. You know, get all the Nissan Leafs you want. Line them up. Have exact Nissan Leaf and Chevy Volt size parking places. In fact, they should say Chevy Volt parking only or Nissan Leaf parking only. Or maybe there could be some big spaces that cost extra. And part of it is a carbon offset tax for your Tesla Model 3. Insert Tesla here. You know, you can do, you can do all those things. But anyway... I just think that the whole, I just had to say this, I think the whole freaking electric car industry is just a joke and a meme of a car industry. And if anybody thinks it isn't, and you're a YouTuber and you're like, oh, I'm reviewing this cool electric car, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm sure somebody gave you some advertising money. I'm looking at you, Tyler Hoover. You know, I don't know. I just, whatever. All right, if you enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications leave a thumbs up or whatever. And if you don't like electric cars and try to take care of your classic Mercedes because it's the only one you're gonna get. You know, every day people throw these cars away. They don't bother restoring them. They don't bother doing the work. They don't even realize what they're throwing away. It's like, you need to realize that the car, the car is not gonna be available forever. You're not gonna be here forever. We need old technology to show new technology how it can be better. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'll see you guys.